Hey, what's going on, guys? Boy Shells are back here in Fallout, so we're moving pretty swiftly through this uh, Andrew Station. Anything good? Nope, unfortunately not. All these raiders are brutal. Look at that, like. Chop these guys' legs down, can I? Okay, I think with the powerful attack. Check in here. So this way Nick went, at least I hope it was. Check around here, Nick, before you do anything else. down here. Oh, this is a ring. Okay, they're doing some fighting down here. A fusion core is well and truly dead. Twenty pound dumbbells, they actually were twenty pounds or they yeah, just saying that. Well they do actually. We have lead in the mind. I don't know how valuable lead is, so everything we need. We will definitely make a pit stop at the old uh, Red Rock when we get a chance. Alright, let's go Nick. We're detectives now, okay. Okay, where does this place lead? Seems to know where we are. That three is so good. Cushioned, hardened right leg. What does that do? I don't even to take it. It's going to last very long. Unfortunately, I don't have any space for anything of stuff. something really quick behind what do I pick up that I can drop okay, I guess 
this down and eight to four maybe. Get the box above. Definitely have knuckles, don't I? Okay, we're making run now. Yes, we can. Okay, we're good. Fortunately, Nick doesn't want to follow us. We're kind of going around. Joe Spucky's basement key. We'll need that, obviously. Joe Spucky's family shop. Okay, we're obviously in the fan the edge. This one right here got cracked. That's our way out, to be honest. I see you, little chem box. Too bad these things waste up. Yeah, they do, so of course I can't take them. Okay, Nick, I'm coming for you, boy. Is this the way? Yeah, it is. Okay, here we are. Door inaccessible. Nick. Let's not keep Eddie waiting. Oh, I should do it? Okay. That filthy toad's right on the other side of that door. Why don't you do the honor? Sure. One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight, four, zero, six. Fuck. Who the fuck are you? Oh, come on, Eddie, it's me, your old pal Molly McFuck yourself. All this time, and the first person to walk through my door is a wise ass. Well, you are easy on the eye, so that's something. Just how the fuck did you get? No, no way. Not after all this time. Don't tell me you actually cracked my code. In the hollow tapes? <laughs> well, hey, it's only been what? 200 years? <laughs> well, look. I'm not sure what you thought you'd find. Gold, jewels, the secrets of the universe. But you get me. One guy. A ghoul, I guess you'd call me. Just living, surviving, and what I got, you can't have. That code? <laughs> it was a joke. I just wanted to prove how dumb those feds were. Turns out, pretty dumb. So take your asses someplace else. Get what I came for. Yeah, and what's that? And who are you, huh? You look kind of familiar. But what are you? Some kind of robot? Is that what it's like out there now? A world of robot overlords? I knew it. The name's Valentine. Nick Valentine. Remember me? Valentine? The cop? Is that who you're supposed to be? Sorry, pal. But you ain't Nick Valentine. You're just some kind of. Machine. You killed my fiance, Jennifer Lands. There are some crimes even you can't get away with, Winter. Your fiance? You mean Valentine's fiance? Pretty girl. Shame what happened to her. But hey, you? Or, you know, the real Valentine? He should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, Robot Man? Why do you even care? Some girl gets whacked 200 years ago, and you come into my home acting like a hot guy? Christ, look at you. You're not even alive. Then I guess I'm in good company. You ain't taking me out. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. You ain't taking me down? What was that? What was that? What was that? Did I hear you say that? Did you just say that? Did you? Did you? You're done here. There's one more thing I've got to do. I wouldn't mind the company if you wanted to tag along. Should I command him? Let me just pick it up and give nice. it to him then. Oh, wow, I want this bad boy. We are going to be using this. That's it. 50 calibers, I like. I can't like that terminal just yet. Cap slash gimme. I 
Unfortunately, Nick has decided to abandon me, which is really annoying. To Claire. Let's read this to this. Claire. It's me. Eddie. It's been too long, I know. But I'm okay. We're okay. I know it's weird, me disappearing just when the heat died down. But there's a reason. What we talked about? It's happening. Soon. Bombs. Missiles. <laughs> I don't know what. But the end is coming. I can't even tell you how much I paid my cloak and dagger friend for this info. So I guess me building that shelter was a smart idea after all, huh? But look, baby. There is... Uh, one more thing. The reason I haven't been around for a while... You know those idiot brothers at Wicked Shipping? The ones smuggling the radioactive material? I put the screws to them. Got some of the stuff. I've been working with this doctor in East Boston. The guy's a fucking genius. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but he had this theory. The right kind of radiation exposure at the right amounts, it can change human cells. Mutate them. Baby, I can live forever. Yeah, I know. It could kill me. I'm willing to chance it, but I can't risk losing you. So I'm the guinea pig. And I've been getting treatments. But don't worry. I'm fine. More than fine. I feel great. Amazing, even. I think this crazy shit's really working. Eventually, this war will blow over. And when it does, I'm gonna walk out to Boston and pick up where I left off. I'm gonna own the future. I'm assuming you'll be dead by then, of course. But let's not dwell on the negative. So look, you come to the sub shop tomorrow night. You and I will go into the shelter together. Seal it up and wait for the big kaboom. Just, uh, you might want to prepare yourself a little. Mentally and such, I look a little different now. But love is only skin deep, right? Okay, so I'm going to need to leave something behind, unfortunately. Um, where did I remember to come back for something? Fortunate enough to drop one of these dumbbells. I will come back for it, don't worry. Do a bit of the duct tape up. Um, unfortunately, I can't like this terminal. She's really annoying me. You'll find Eddie, though, I can help. Uh, where is Eddie? I really want to find out what's in the terminal, Eddie, but you're not helping me here. Okay, so unfortunately next kind of slides. So we're gonna have to come back for this terminal later on and we're gonna have to use some other stuff, so let's get out of this place. Hang on, where do I have to go? Through here. Up the stairs. Ground roll right now. Okay, so I don't know. Let's get that uh, 44 out of shot because I want to see what it's like. Does 60 damage, wow. Not bad scope, okay. Open. Looks like Nick would open that anyway if I had gone through it, so interesting. Where's Nick on? Hang on, where's this shop? Can I like find this place again? I don't think I can, so. This is it. In this spot, 200 years ago, one of Eddie's boys put a bullet in Jenny Lamb's back. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny. And Nick. 
I... I'm at a loss. All I know is that without you, Eddie'd still be at large. I'm glad I could help. It seems like it meant a lot to you. You don't know the half of it. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last proof outside of some long lost institute archive I was ever just a mechanical copy of some cop from a bygone era. I'm not sure how to feel. Don't you see, Nick? You're finally free. There is no other Nick anymore. Just you. No, I wish it was that easy. But it's not. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. And I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. I'd hope with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. But being out here with you, what I, what I finally realized after all this time was that taking down winter, it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice, about doing what's right. And that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours, and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. You don't have to, Nick. We're friends. This is what friends do. <laughs> you can't stop being noble now, can you? Well, come on then. We're not helping anyone standing around here. Nice. New perk and all. You're still interested in traveling together. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted some time on your own after all this. Of course. Let's do it. Glad to hear it. Come on. Let's get out of here. Hey. Nick. And there's something you need? First off, I'm gonna trade these myself. Here's what I've got. And we're getting out of here. Okay, what do I need to give? I need to drop. Whoa. Oh, sure, he's still full. Like, wow. I forgot he's full of stuff. So we're gonna have to probably come back to this. Uh, hey, you mind keeping an eye out for a second? I got to run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What did I miss? Come back to the place eventually. So this is. In the nowhere. So unfortunately, I'm gonna come here, guys. I need to go back up to Red Rocket, get some clear some stuff, and then I'll be back in the game. Probably gonna take the Augusta safe house. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out. Have a good one.